Hi guys, and welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, please excuse my voice. I'm very stopped up and congested like crazy. Um, so if you hear a sneeze or a snort or a cough, I apologize in advance. Today's video is on Eddie Albert and Eva Gabor, uh, who was on uh, Green Acres. And how they once clashed over her wardrobe while filming the show. Stay alert. Though Oliver Wendell Douglas might have seemed out of place to citizens of Green Acres, it turned out that Eddie Albert was actually quite at home in rural America. In addition to his accomplishments as an actor, he is also a passionate env environmentalist uh, with titles that included Chairman of the Boy Scouts of America and Chairman of the Eddie Albert World Trees Foundation of America. Most notably, Albert spoke out against the use of DDT, a pesticide commonly used in agriculture that eventually became infamous for its harm to the environment. <clears throat> In an interview with the Orlando Sentinel, Albert recalled that he was able to combine two of his passions by uh, explaining DDT's harm during television programs. I began going on television to explain the harm that DDT was doing, Albert said, adding that he was able to join forces with notable people like broadcaster and entertainer Arthur Godfrey, as well as Wisconsin Senator Gaylord Nelson, who would later found the official holiday Earth Day. Albert's efforts Eventually paid off and DVT was banned in the United States in 72 and eventually be banned worldwide in 2004. These efforts, it's obvious that Albert wasn't shy about arguing to save the planet, even on the Green Acres set. During an appearance at Epcot's superstar television attraction, he recounted a specific uh, interaction with co-star Eva Gabor. Gabor's character Lisa was known for adventurous and metropolitan fashion sense. And Albert explained that uh, Gabor came uh, onto the set wearing a dress made of feathers. I asked her not to wear it on camera because people would see it and want to go out and buy one like that. Uh, Gabor, the show fashion Easter, uh, countered what was the point. Uh, Albert then said he explained to Gabor that many birds would have to die <clears throat> to provide feathers for the dress. She just looked at me for a moment and said, Eddie, feathers don't come from birds. When pressed by Albert on where they came from, Gabor responded, pillows, darling, pillows. Years later, after recounting the story, Albert spoke with Orlando Sentinel and concluded, to this day, I don't know whether Eva was kidding or not. I'll just tell you up front, I'm a big uh, on taking care of our planet. I'm a climate change denier. I don't believe in all that. Um, and uh, I just don't want to get into all that. It's just sometimes this, they take this stuff way too far. I, I do think the feathers thing was kind of, out there uh fashion wise even you know, but it was funny her answer i thought was hilarious that's all i have for you hope you guys enjoyed this please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia head on over there and please subscribe uh have a great day god bless be praying for you